hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this very video i'm going to share with you what normally close contacts and normally open contacts are if you are an electrician or a person learning to be an electrician you are going to be hearing this in your life every day normally close normally open normally close normally open the open has tend to close the close has tend to open and that is what i'm going to talk about in this very video i'm going to be using diagram to explain all of these principles so if you are new here i'll urge you to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video youtube is going to notify you now the word normally in electrical engineering refers to the de-energized or unactuated state of an electrical component like the sources the relays and it describes the initial state of the electrical contact now let's look at this we have normally open contacts here this is how we draw it normally open we have a bar at the top here to be specific this is actually a push button a bar at the top here now this is in open normally open when i push it so come and link to this contact this bar you see here will come and link to this this one is also coming link to this we have normally close this is how we draw it and the down here okay this is also normally close now this normal open contact you see here does not allow current to flow because this is open if you connect a, a live wire to this side to this side the current is going to be trapped at this side it's not going to allow the current to flow unless this bar you see here is being pushed for this one to come and link to this and this one to come and link to this when you push it to come and link and it's going to allow the flow of current to the load now this is normally close this is the initial state this is also the initial state this close you see here if i connect a live wire to this side automatically because it is normally close it is going to allow the flow of current or it is going to conduct electricity from this point to this point or from here to here depending on where you connect the live wire to so the initial state of this or the resting state let me say it that way the resting state if i say this is normally close it means that this is actually the resting state of this switch normally close it is going to allow the flow of current but then when i say normally open it's not going to allow the flow of current let's say we have a load at this side let's say we have a lamp here it's a lamp 220 volts is and this side too we have a very big lamp here this is also 220 volts AC and the signal or the light is supposed to pass through this switch so what you put here is the neutral this is the neutral and automatically there is going to be the light okay this is the light now we have the live at this side this switch you see here conducts electricity automatically because it is normally closed so this lamp you see here is going to illuminate we already have the neutral connected so it is going to illuminate because this is normally closed contact the switch we have here is normally closed and we have this side as 
normally open. Normally open does not conduct electricity unless we push it. You push this bar. When you push it, so come and link to this contact. So right now we have the live. If I connect this to a live wire, if I do it practically, we are going to be having the live trapped at this side. Unless I push this, this is a push button. Unless I push it, then this bar will come and link to this contact. This one also come and link to this contact. Hence, making a flow of current from this side to this side and from here to the lamp. And it is going to glow when I push it. Because this is normally closed. The light is going to flow straight from here to here and from here to the load. And this lamp is also going to illuminate. So that is actually what is normally closed and normally open when we say normally closed it's actually the initial state of the switch this is normally closed switch so technically it's going to allow flow of current or it's going to conduct electricity this is normally open it's not going to conduct electricity that is what normally closed and normally open switches are and with the relay i'm not actually talking about the relay but let me explain it a little bit Let's say we have a contact. This is actually a coil. This is a relay. And this side we have this is the live. This is the neutral. Have this and this. Now with this contact. When this relay you see here, let's say this is 220 volts AC relay, magnetic relay, magnetic relay. Now, when this contact you see here receive the right voltage, this is actually the the common contact. We have something like. And let's see, let's say we have numbers at this side, 9, and the top here, 5, here, 1. Let's say we have this side as 12, we have 8 here, and let's say we have 4. This is an example, but basically that is how the relay works. The numbers, I just put them the way I want. So let's say this is 9, common contact. This is also 12. That is common. When this receives the 220 volts AC, it's going to energize. And the moment energize, we have number 5. This is a contact. Linking to number 9. So we have 5 and 9 as NC. And we have 1 and 9 as NO. We have 1 and 9 as NO. In the same way, we have 8 on this side. Number 8 and number 12 as NC. We have number 4 and number 12 as NO. When it receives the right voltage, that's the 220 volt AC. Normally closed contacts are going to tend to open and normally open contacts are going to tend to close. Meaning this bar, when it receives the right voltage, the coil, this bar will disconnect from 5 and come and link to this. The same way this bar will disconnect from 8 and come and link to 4. As simple as that. That is how the electromagnetic relay works and also the switches, the push buttons. So basically, that is how it all works. The normal open and the normal close contact or the switches. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube is going to notify you. Thank you for watching this very video and see my next video. Bye bye.